Today's video is going to teach you how to lab in Madden NFL 16. What's up gamers, my name's Cody, I like to make Madden 16 videos and post them on the internet. Guys, you may uh, be familiar with some of my tips and today we're going to be bringing you another Madden 16 tip. We're starting our new series called Madden 16 Pro Tips and what this is going to do is it's going to, every week we're going to take a little bit deeper of a look into the game and some things that the advanced players do that some of you, some of the beginners may not do uh, in this uh, in, 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 in effort to take the beginner players and get them to an advanced level um, and where we want to start and this is where I probably always start um, every year is labbing um, labbing what it really means uh, in, in in the Madden uh, realm is practicing um, practicing different uh, plays, developing your offense, developing your defense, developing different plays, um, and that's really what we're going to focus on in there. And there are uh, two components of labbing, and um, what we really want to do um, is we're going to focus on, today we're just going to give you an introduction to labbing, and then um, in the future we're going to give you actual breakdowns of offensive labbing and defensive labbing in the next couple of episodes with the pro tips. But um, labbing it's all about, um, like I said, all about taking a deeper uh, look at the game. And what I want to do, real quick, is we're, what, uh, and this is the most important thing, is we're in practice mode. And I just want to show you, I want to break this down, uh, because I think it is an uh, important uh, note to make as we introduce the Pro Tip series. Like I said, these are going to be uh, videos that we do every week to take a little bit deeper of a look into the game. Um, not, not necessarily scheme breakdowns, but more of a conceptual teaching, uh, talking about some of the greats, kind of breaking down. Uh, what goes through their mind and what they do, but like I said, the first one is labbing. And what we want to do uh, before we even get into practice mode is what I like to do uh, is go to custom playbooks, and uh, from there uh, I like to go to the defense. And for my labbing, I have an actual playbook that I lab with. And what you're going to find here is that this labbing playbook has specific plays in it that's going to help me lab. It takes all of the all of the unique plays, specifically unique plays, from formation. So what you're going to see here is uh, plays like this 3-4 bear. I've only added in a couple of plays. I've only added in, uh, as you see, Pinch Dog and Buck Strong Safety 3 and, and Sam Mike 1. I've only added in plays that I'm actually going to want to practice. Um, normally, you're not going to want to practice plays like Engage 8 or Cover 4. Um, the reason I added Cover 3 in is because it's going to cover Cover 4s, Cover 2s, Cover cover ones, cover two man unders, cover sixes, all of those have the same blitz angles. And so what you want to do is you want to put as many different blitz angles as you can in your playbook. And you see I've actually maxed my playbook out here. But I've got so many formations in here. I've got the 3-4, uh, all of the 3-4 formations. I've got all of the 4-3 formations. I've got the 4-4. Four, four. I've got the 4 sixes. I've got the 5-2. I've got the dime formations. Almost every formation in Madden I have in here. All the formations I want to practice specifically are in my labbing playbook. And what it's going to do is it's going to save me a lot of time because I'm not going to have to go out of practice when and grab new playbooks. All I have to simply do is uh, use this nice labbing playbook. And then, based off the information that I find in practice mode, I can then go out and find the playbook that has the nickel strong, or that has the nickel psycho, or that has the nickel normal, or the 416, or the double A gap, or whatever formation I want to pick. But in my opinion, it's very important to have a playbook specifically designed for labbing, and it shows your commitment to effective labbing in Man NFL 16. All right, so that's the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, I'm not. Uh, I don't really. Uh, I don't really have a specific playbook for labbing, and here's why. What you're going to notice is there's just a lot more plays in offensive playbooks. And if you go over to my playbook, you're only allowed to have 500 plays in your playbook. You see that this Arizona book already has 455 plays uh, in it and so out of 500. And so I can't really add in a lot of those plays, and I can't really remove a lot of plays because, uh, you know, I don't. it would take forever. There's just so many offensive plays in this year's game. Uh, and, and Whereas defenses, you're more focused on formations. Offenses, you're more focused on quick audibles and different things around the scheme. So that's why I don't really have a formation um, for, or excuse me, a, a specific playbook design for labbing, although you can do that, and it would be beneficial. I believe I just don't have I don't do that what I like to do is uh, I'll, I'll come in here and I'll just check out all these playbooks uh, every now and then I just kind of scroll through the playbooks and see and notice that okay I've got pistol ace here in Atlanta I've got pistol wide trips I've got shotgun eagle H tight 
um, and then just kind of notice some of the some of the foundational formations. Um, and then what I do is uh, what I like to do is I like to take note and say, okay, Arizona's got tight flex trio, open trio, falcon trio, offset, all these formations, and then say, okay. Now I need to go back and f and uh, want to lab Atlanta's book. Okay, so I go to Atlanta, grab it, and then I find that I'm going to maybe want to grab the play ATL seam. So then when I go into practice mode, I want to make sure that I want to pick AT Atlanta's playbook. So for offensive playbooks, what I like to use this custom playbooks feature for is I like to explore all the plays. Uh, before jumping into a lab session, um, in my opinion, it's always good to know your quick audibles, and it's also really important to just jump in with the uh, offensive playbook. Offense is more, uh, you know, more flexible uh, just because there's so many more plays, and it kind of has to be. But what you want to do offensively is you want to grab whatever playbook you want to use. Um, so say someone maybe recommends Indianapolis and says, okay, Indianapolis is playbook pretty good so what you want to do is grab Indianapolis playbook uh, in practice mode and then go in and, and start your lab session so but this is an introduction to this series pro tips and uh, I hope that this provides you some insight into a little bit of that next level uh, of Madden and uh, that's really the whole goal with this series um, so like I said I uh, just wanted to kind of put this out there and show you kind of some of the thought processes the most important thing I want you to take away from this is I want you to get out of this video and I really want you to go and make yourself a defensive labbing playbook a playbook designed specifically to lab certain formations um, and, and I really do I really think that's one of the most important things that you can do this year in Madden 16 um, but in closing guys what I would like to remind you to do is first of all uh, just check out my YouTube channel um, if you could uh, if you haven't seen any of my content before uh, we have content for all different types of players uh, we have full schemes over there we have everything that you could need to get better at Madden 16 is on my YouTube channel so you can check all that out but if you want to get really really good at Madden 16 what I would recommend you do is check out my defensive ebook in the description I have a nice uh, defensive ebook from the New England Patriots defensive playbook this year uh, and it's really 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 good uh, formations that we break down there so some really good content for you uh, that you can use to get better at the game and so that's why I put it out for you I'm trying to help you uh, grow alongside me and grow with me as we both attempt to get better at this game so um, but that is the video guys really appreciate you taking a look at this and like I said this series is going to take a little deeper look into the Madden and what it all focuses around is the mind game of Madden 